So if you look at organizations today in the tele telecom space, uh, what typically is happening is uh, they're looking at three key aspects, right? One is how do you increase the top line? The second one is how do you increase your bottom line really? And really, uh, in some sense, making sure that you reduce risk and increase efficiency of the system. Now, for each of these three areas, uh, AI is becoming a big enabler for it in organizations. Uh, the challenges that customers are facing is making sure that, uh, for example, if a customer is right now facing a case where there's a lot of um, uh, an increase in, in or, or loss of uh, customer experience because it's taking a lot of time and it, when a service ticket is raised, it's probably because the service engineer is taking time to go and fix an issue. So if the telecom operators can proactively find out when there's an issue happening through the AI tools that they build, that will mean that even before an issue happens, you preempt it. Uh, what is now called as predictive maintenance. So the challenge that is being faced is one, how do you quickly implement it in the areas that matter? Now, if you look at an organization, data is already available. You have data that is you know, already coming in through various streaming sources. There's data that you're continuing to store, the data that you're uh, continuing to process, and the data that you're continuing to monetize. Now, in each of these three or four areas, Telcos are in various stages of development. The key question is, for that particular telco, how are they making sense or utilizing that data? And oftentimes it comes down to, which is my biggest area of concern? If my biggest area of concern is profitability, how do I increase profitability with my AI tools? So the challenge that, that organizations are facing is, one, identifying that problem area, and two, making sure that the organization is aligned towards addressing that particular area of concern through the AI strategy that is being adopted. So that's one thing that I can think of uh, at the top of my mind. So I'll give you a fantastic example of uh, some of the telcos that we work with. Um, they've been transforming their business with uh, my organization called Aerospike where essentially what they do is the data that comes into the organization, it could be data related to the customer, it could be data related to the products, the inventory, uh, it could be data related to the revenue angle that's, that's involved in an organization. They stored the data or the data streamed into an Aerospike. Now, once they have this data in Aerospike, I talked about the storage aspect, then it's about how do you monetize this aspect. So what they start doing is whenever there's a customer touch point with say that particular telco, they say, hey, this is what this particular user does with my organization. Now, what can I do over and above? What can I offer this, this particular user because of what he has right, he or she has right now? That's the monetization bit. So essentially, at runtime, you're saying, given what the customer has, these are the three or four things that I'm going to upsell and cross-sell stuff. And I'm also giving the customer access to information at their fingertips. So a customer data platform is a monetization bit for customers or for telcos but it is also a way in which customers get a better experience. So customer experience goes up in, invariably. So how does an AI platform built on data help organizations? Here is one great example. Customer data platform, which helps in monetization, which helps in customer retention, it helps in increasing the wallet share of customers within a telco. And APJ is a great question, right? APJ region specifically is one of the fastest growing sectors uh, in terms of when it comes to AI adoption. Uh, the reason being, we have a market here in APJ where I, I work in the entire APJ, region. I've got teams all across uh, APJ. The region specifically is such that we have disparate, um, you know, uh, regions within every country, for example, right? A Philippines, for example, you might have several thousand islands which are connected by each other, but the challenges in terms of how do you bring in services across all these different you know, regions of the, of the country. Now, in these kinds of regions, an AI um, application which is built on data is absolutely custom built for. The reason being, you can offer these services even human being, even without having people on the ground to offer it. And that's why one of the reasons why this particular market is built for this is because of that, because you have a need for AI. There's a need for data. There's a need for you to analyze data on the fly. Um, so your, to your urgent question, uh, specifically in the APJ market, what kind of use cases I'm going to be, be foreseeing? We're seeing it right from the case of what a telco can offer. How can a telco make life better for users? How can we offer more and more uh, services to the customer? How can the telco make sure that the customers being offered are good enough? I talked about the predictive maintenance part to make sure that even before a customer raises a ticket, 
can we proactively identify that the issue is happening right now? For example, uh, churn is a big uh, area of concern for telcos in this market, right? Meaning there's a certain set of users who might leave a telco and join some other telco. It's loss of revenue. It's always difficult to, you know, once you leave a customer or a customer leaves your service, it's more expensive than getting a new customer. So you want to retain customers. For you to prevent churn, you need to be able to identify patterns that exist ahead of time. Now, a platform like Aerospike not only does it give you fast access to data, it also helps you identify saying, hey, this is the kind of profile that I know of, and these kinds of profiles have a higher probability of leaving my system. So if I can take steps ahead of time to prevent churn, then you have a big story to tell. Likewise for recommendation engines, likewise, likewise for stories where you want to make sure that you reduce wastage in your, in your system. Telco wastage is very, very high. Also, increasing productivity of workers. There are several aspects where I think in the next three to four years, we're going to see more and more adoption of AI and data is going to be the backbone of, of that kind of adoption. Obviously, transformation means that the culture of the organization, various different uh, departments in the organization need to be aligned. But that is something definitely that I see happening in the next three to four years in Asia Pact.